activities or things we can do better. I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? I do. It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Big Papa. We're all a little embarrassed today too, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. Great job, Big Papa. I was going oh in my head while reading it. Okay. It's really metaphorical. Okay. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. That's right. Prepare for my final attack. It's easy for me to keep everyone's expectations low. <laughs> that way, it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know, you know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Yes, I think we got Yuri. Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness. Oh, so if I would have done super happy ones, she might have been picked too. Yuri likes it when she, the readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. It's very challenging to write like that effectively. Both allowing to get people to get something out of it just by feel. Or letting them deeply analyze all of the nuances. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I never really asked, though. I'm sure I'm- Oh wait, I'm sure I'm nowhere on her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I'd feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the way the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a bit biased towards their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't focus or force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Haha. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem? Yep. Don't worry, I'm not very good. That's what Sayori just said. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Look at the uh, great handwriting here. Hole. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See? The direction this, this spackle protrudes? A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. Up here inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas! Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side was looking in. I don't understand that poem at all. I like the breakfast poem better. That's more along my speed. So, what do you think? Mm, it's very free form. Is that what you call it? Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Haha, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. Oh, did I read it wrong? When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. That was the inspiration behind this one? Or what was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. 
If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. That's actually a good point. Just for force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about this is, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, it'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for the day. Thanks, Monica. Thanks for listening. Yuri! Alright, I show everyone my poem, apparently. <coughs> As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Yes! Exceptional. Ah! Uh, what was that? Did, did I just say that aloud? Yuri first covers her mouth, but then up. Dongle being goofy. Yuri first covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. I... You... He's going to hate me. Uh... You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Oh, she's gonna tell me she hates it. Eh? That's... Cookie I, time. I guess you're right. Yuri! Look! There, you're on the screen! There's Our another Yuri! Champion returns. How's it going, my Yuri? Let's get them. Mama saw the flashing lights, so she knows she didn't treat. Say thank you for the treaties! Get up! All the sounds happening. How's it going, my dude? This is gonna be really weird because this person's name is Yuri. Jada, hello, Cookie. Come get this treaty from Yuri. He's a stink. He's popped in and gave a treaty. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> And that, that's exactly what I said. I was like, it's Yuri, but it's missing a Y. <laughs> How's it going, dude? I, I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors syndicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Wow, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Well, I know that. I just meant, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words in the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Y yeah. Okay. This, uh, this is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize as new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. Oh man! I'm going right? I'm doing just fine! The intro is wrong to your stream, boss. Ow! I'm so sorry, Birch! Hey! Yuri's got you covered. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. I did not know you were a uh, stream boss. I'm sorry. Yeah, let's we'll switch that over here too. Yeah, I didn't know either. <laughs> Rip. I'm making sure I didn't uh, miss some chat here. Oh my gosh. Is Sarah making fun of my amazing voice acting? <laughs> you know what? Oh, that's what I should have done. Uh, if anyone wanted to do some voice acting, you're more than welcome to. I should have said that from the beginning. I, f I didn't even think about it. You never do such a thing. Yeah, I, I believe it. <laughs> In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Oh! She doesn't like my poem! I thought she was gonna like it! Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her de demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. No, oh, she doesn't like my poem! Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. 
Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example, and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased though. Biased? How? Do you have a problem with Natsuki? Her, Yuri and Natsuki have, seem to have a little bit of a, a beef with each other, but also Natsuki has a beef with everyone, so. Uh, um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. You mind if I read your poem now? Please do. Oh, she's so excited. I'd love to share my thoughts behind thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Whoa, look at her handwriting! Just call me Big Papa. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I like it when they call me Big Papa. <laughs> Ghost under the light. All right. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm, breathing air of the present <laughs> living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. Hold on a minute. Yuri with the foul bits! Also, I fixed the bit sound effects. Um, Gups pointed out that they weren't working. So if you guys want to throw... If you're going to be throwing bits and you want to throw the sound effect bits to troll me or whatever, you can do that too. To take your photos, bitties! Delicious bitties. Nom, nom, nom. I actually liked Yuri's poem. That's like the light flickers. I flicker back. That's kind of like... um. You stare at the void, and the void stares back. Ooh, good stuff. Speaking of ooh, ooh I, so something I read today is, um, apparently it's pretty common that, like, people that were born deaf or without hearing, and that some, that get their hearing back later in life, like, with aid or medical or whatever, they get their hearing. A lot of them say they expected the sun to make noise. And I was just, I thought of that and I was like, oh, can you imagine if the sun, like, it, it technically does make noise, but it's in space and it's so far away, whatever, that's beyond the thing. But I started thinking, I was like, what would the sound of the sun be? And I was like, oh, that sounds terrifying. I don't know why that sounds so scary to me, but it does. There, the uh, NASA and stuff has pointed s stuff at the planets and stuff to hear the sounds they make. And I think Jupiter sounds terrifying. It's like a bunch of screaming sounds or something, but, uh, just, I heard that, like, I, I, I expected the sun to make noise. I was like, what? Oh, that sounds scary. You know, you know, have no idea what sound effects bits are. Oh, okay, so there's a, um, there's an overlay on screen, a component, and, um, I don't remember, I don't remember which one it is, there, but there's two sound alert, or sound components you can use. One is the free ones that are just the general sound effects of the channel. Um, those are free to use. And then there's troll ones that are like scream sounds or scary sounds that are mostly going to be used to troll me in scary games and stuff. Um, but those are have the bit thing behind them because I don't want people just constantly spamming the same sound effect over and over and over again. You know what I mean? Uh, but it's a little component overlay window you can get to. I like that poem. That was cool. Reminds me of the screening sun and ripping Rick and Morty. I've seen that as a, a meme and a gif, but I don't think I've ever... I, I never watched Rick and Morty, so I don't know what it sounds like. And I thought that was from Adventure Time. Guess not. Uh, what? Yuri. I, I'm sorry. I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read it. Did it act? Does the game actually know that it took me so long to read it? That would be awesome. Uh. Well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Yeah? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? 
I usually, or I usually write longer poems. Not at all. Hmm. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghost theory? I said that in a twit. A twit. A tweet. About this game, about ghosts. <laughs> hoo hoo. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Big Papa. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that- oh wait. But remember- but remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. And soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Eh? It, it's nothing really. Yours was impressive too, so... Nah. If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. Y you think so? Yeah, of course. You know, I was really nervous about doing all this, but in the end I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Big Papa. For me? Do it, do it for yourself. Uh, me too. Uh-oh, what did you send me, Yuri? I don't know what like to title this. That we're born deaf? Or without hearing. And oh, son, is this my rant about the sun? Back later in life, like with aid or medical or whatever, they get their hearing. A lot of them say they expected. Dude, tell me I'm wrong. Like, does that not freak anyone else out? Am I alone here? If like the sun made a noise, would that not? Does that not sound terrifying? Am I the only one in that thought? Am I really the weird one here? I mean, I'm used to being the weird one, but I could have swore other people would have thought that sounds scary. All right, Natsuki. You ready for the rat gremlin voice? You're just staring at her. Big Papa, if you're not going to take this club seriously, then go home. I don't like you. What? Harsh. Serving up. Give me some ketchup. She, she's serving up them harsh browns. What? You expect me to believe that you actually put effort into this? Read the fucking poem. You'll know I put effort into it. Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I did put effort into it. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Ha ha! Take that. Painful to think about? Get my sass on her. Fine! Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. She's rude. Fair enough. Well, to each of their own, I guess. Yuri liked it. <laughs> That's why I said he Everyone else liked it, you turd bird! I don't like you. Anyway, I gotta- I guess I gotta share mine now. It's gonna be about cupcakes. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. The music is so fitting right now. All right, apparently she's Captain Obvious. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Well done, Nesky. I, I wanted to stay on that page because the music was dumpy and I loved it. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't carry through the void. Hey, Panzer, what's going on? Yeah, we brought that up earlier. You must have missed it, but welcome to the stream. Um, I have a thing for all the... I have a thing for all bark, no bite bullying. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about uh, how NASA pointed stuff at the planets and heard the sounds and Jupiter sounds terrifying. 
Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it.